Riley has an update. Go ahead, Riley. Hey, Max. Uh, that southern uh, tornado warning does have a chaser report of a tornado on the ground right now. May see an upgrade to an observed warning. Either way, uh, we should be taking shelter in Sheldon because this tornado could definitely occlude and go right through the town of Sheldon. All right, thank you for the update. So it sounds like this tornado is back on the ground uh, just to the south of Elderland, going towards Sheldon, Walcott, just to the southwest of Leonard, uh, eventually going towards I-29 as well. So if you're in this tornado warning, you need to be in your safe place, get away from windows, and get on the lowest floor possible. It sounds like this is an observed tornado via spotters. Uh, again, Stormer Media looking at the storm right now from the south. And if we have a tornado, become kind of on the middle, middle right. Stormer Media might have it here. This could be contaminated, but this is on Velocities, uh, just west of Sheldon. Scott said there's something large. There's possibly a large tornado in progress here. Yes, sir. Yeah, big wedge tornado. Big. Yeah. All right, I gotta calm down here. Cool. You see that? Yeah, I see it. It's Holy off to the. I think cow. it's. It's on the left. I think this is a big tornado that we just saw a lightning strike there. Oh my gosh! It's huge. Apparently there's a huge tornado here near Sheldon. Oh guys, it's big. It's a big tornado. Yeah, I just got a lightning strike. We'll probably be able to see it. Sorry. I'll uh, roll it up for now. So again, big time tornado right now, just off to the, uh, it's coming into Sheldon literally as we speak. So again, if you're in Sheldon, you need to be in your safe place away from windows and on the lowest floor possible. It sounds like we got a potential uh, large, if not even possibly a wedge tornado just south of Elderland that's going towards Coburn and Sheldon right now. That's according to Scott Peak here. And then uh, Tornado Pagey is also nearby bottom left of your screen. So we're keeping an eye on them. Uh, Riley has an update. Go ahead, Riley. Hey, Max, um, this is a very large, violent tornado. There are multiple storm chasers that unfortunately we cannot show. Our storm chasers are always are almost on this. However, just looking at this on radar, it does look like it's actually contaminated, and this is something that normally you wouldn't take seriously. Uh, this is what it looks like on tilt one of the radar, but as you move up in tilt, it looks exactly the same. This indicates to me that this is a true velocity signature. It's not contaminated because we have that support four different layers in the atmosphere. This is probably a very, very strong tornado, and that is exactly what our chasers are reporting this needs a pds tornado warning and sheldon you have to be in your safe spot go to cc we'll get cc on there yeah that is this is 100 a tornado so again we got a tornado definitely in progress here uh located near sheldon the, there is a clear debris signature which is not something we've really seen much today on these other tornadoes even with them being large this one is legitimately uh lofting debris right now and that is coming up towards sheldon right now so get to your tornado shelter if you're in sheldon coburn uh, also just west of leonard in north dakota this is likely a intense to violent tornado near highway 136 uh reportedly a, a very large tornado uh we're going back to scott peak who has it in the middle of your screen. If we get another lightning strike, we'll be able to see it, but I think that's it right there in the middle. It's massive. It is. Oh yeah, right there, we just oh saw it. That, that's gosh. a clear shot of it. That is a big cone yeah, tornado at the minimum. Okay. That is, that is a huge tornado. We just saw it a second ago. Yes, I'm gonna sir. try to I get a screenshot. Confirm. I'm in Sheldon right now. I don't know if my spotter dots. That is clearly a large tornado. Uh, updating, but uh, I'm in Sheldon as we speak. And it's to Max Scott in a second. Riley has an update. Go ahead, Riley. Hey, Max. Uh, this TDS goes above 10,000 feet in the air. It's got the V-Rot. Uh, I would support a tornado emergency for this storm for the town of Sheldon. Alrighty, thank you for the update. So this already meets uh, tornado emergency criteria. We have a big debris signature. That was a big tornado. And it's nighttime, which makes this that much more dangerous. Uh, stay with it, because it looks like it's starting to occlude a little bit. That, that is a big time tornado, though. Uh, I mean, let's get to the town. It's going to be in the middle of your screen, but Coburn, you got to be in your safe place. Sheldon, you got to be in your safe place. Gosh. This is an emergency alert. Yeah. 
a large and strong tornado is on the ground, seek shelter immediately. They have upgraded this to a particularly dangerous situation. Tornado warning for Sheldon. Uh, again, this is for Cass and Ransom counties, but you guys are all included now in a particularly dangerous situation. Tornado warning. You need to be in your storm shelter, basement, closet, bathroom, get away from windows and get on the lowest floor possible. All the chasers bottom of your screen are all currently uh, near this tornado. The debris signature is massive. I mean, this is the largest debris signature that we've seen so far today. So you need to treat this as if uh, there is a wedge basically on the ground right now that is going to be moving into Colburn and eventually going towards Leonard over the next few minutes. So please get away from windows and on the lowest floor possible. Um, also, this is a view of that tornado just a second ago in case you did not see it on our stream. That is what it looks like right now. Uh, this looks no different from the tornadoes that we saw earlier for the record. Literally no looks no different. So that is what it looks like and uh, it looks like a monster. Going back to Scott, he has the tornado still. I think it's middle of your screen. Maybe losing single. Let me go over to Connor. Holy cow. That's a beast. Still might be right around. Wow. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where? Whoa. The tornado. Yeah, yeah, can... This tornado is huge Holy on the right. Wow. Monster. Oh my god. Got it here in 4K. Insane, violent. Oh my gosh, uh, violent tornado. Yeah, this thing is absolutely massive, bro. Not good, not good, too. It's right by Sheldon. No, it's gonna go north of Sheldon, I think. You think it's gonna include north? It's about okay. to cross east, west, 46. Oh yeah, you're good. Yeah, it's, it's north of Sheldon, that's right. You're right, you're right. It's gonna go just north of Sheldon, I think, thankfully. Right side of your screen, it's still a large tornado. This thing's huge. I'm gonna tuck a little bit. It's a storm intermediate. It's in the middle of your screen. Yeah, there that, it is. That looks like a wedge. This the thing's insane. A new tornado warning has been issued. Again, this already meets tornado emergency criteria. Gotta hope that nobody is currently sleeping in this area. Coburn, en Enderlin, and Sheldon, North Dakota. You can tell it's not secluding. It's constricting. It's just a violent, violent... Pop that whole thing's in. Your service is struggling, Freddy. It looks like they're you can barely see it. Look at that thing right there. That's the tornado. Look, it is, the frames are actually slow, which is actually a good thing for you guys to be able to see it. But that right there was the tornado right there. So that was a pretty good shot of it. Still, still not quite back with the signal. Again, this is a likely violent tornado going towards Colburn and then a Leonard in North Dakota. This thing is huge. Everybody has low signal right now. I think Scott has has it. Right there in the middle. It's right there. Is my strong link not working? No, you're on. This tornado's now near Highway 46. It's coming up on the Maple River Dam retention area. Emergency lights off. Still see it in the middle of your screen. There it is, on the stream. Large tornado. Still down. It's still clearly down. Freddy okay. has it. Right there in the middle. Still left of the road. Just insane. Come on, we gotta get around these trees. I know. Should get a beer in a second. Right here, should get to be right here, right here. Right here. Oh no, these trees, man. The lightning There's continues to down. uptick. So this trees on this road. It's a monster tornado though, crossing into the Maple River Dam retention oh, yeah, no, area. Break tree line. Is the stream working now? Yeah, I switched it over to Starlink. Good deal. Got debris fall out here. Apparently, there's debris flying. Dude, Freaking tree wall. Unfortunately, All this may have just hit the town of Enderlin. Freaking tree wall. All in North Dakota. Road, bro. 
you got to be kidding me. Got to be freaking There's kidding There's a break me. coming up here in about half a mile. Okay. Still see the tornado beyond the tree line. Left. Yeah. Might have a break here. Might have a break here. Check here, check here, check here. Small break. Oh, yeah, yeah, right oh, there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Should see it here. Holy cow. It was huge. Oh, oh my gosh. Yeah, it's still it's a huge pipe. Oh my gosh, dude. Yep. That's still down. Violent pipe. I clear, right? Yes. So clear? Yep. Copy. Time to cook. It's off to the right of the road here, but again, this is now going over the Maple River Looks Dam like, yeah. retention area. They'll be coming up on 16 and 7, which are a couple different roads. And this tornado is substantial. Uh, again, we have a big debris signature on radar. It just went through the east side of the Enderlin town. I don't think it directly hit Enderlin, North Dakota, but it was just to the east of Enderlin. It's now going up. It just crossed that road there. Uh, Freddie and Connor both in kind of the same spot there. It is now going to the Maple River Dam retention area. Then it may track towards Chaffee. It's actually been moving to the north, though, which means it's probably occluding north, but it is definitely still on the ground, and it is still a huge tornado. Freddy An insane tornado. still has it right there in the middle. Insane tornado roping out right now. Right there in the middle. It's still down. Holy cow. Wow. New couplet developing. Uh, you can still see New the tornado. It is developing. roping out, but it's still down. To the southeast. Jeez, dude. You see that rope? Yeah. So you got it here? Yep, I have it there. Oh my gosh, dude. Chad, yeah, that's a crazy tornado. That is a crazy tornado there. That, that's a violent wedge that just roped out, guys. Violent wedge just roped out, or is roping out yeah. currently. It's still... All right, we just lost him there, but the tornado is currently sitting Wow. Going back to Connor, he still has it as well, right there in the middle of your screen. It's still down, by the way. Tornado's still actively on the ground. Look at the velocities couple, by the way. It, it's not actually, like, it might be roping out, but it is still Dude, producing still significant damage near 16 and just west of 7. That's insane. Look at that, the Fuji film came in. Fujifilm's doing crazy work. Yeah, By the way, this is not uh, good. Oh, yeah, we have another... Means... This is embedded in our line of thunderstorms just northeast of Valley City. We got a little finger kind of hanging out here northwest of Ariska, and that right there is actually strong rotation. This is embedded in our line of thunderstorms, and that could drop a tornado here soon. That is going just north of I-94, going towards Page, Arthur, and Hunter. So watch out for this storm. This may produce a tornado as it moves east-northeast. That looks pretty significant right now on radar. Riley has an update. Go ahead, Riley. Yeah, Max, it's actually just about to talk about that. That is producing a tornado right now. It is on the ground, and hopefully we have a tornado warning coming for it shortly. All right, I thank you for the update. So that's actually, we do have a small debris signature as well that goes pair and pair with our tight area of rotation. This is currently tracking uh, to the northeast. So if you are in this area, you need to be in your safe place, get away from windows and get on the lowest floor possible. Uh, that is just to the north of I-94. Uh, Vince Walty is actually right next to this thing because he's on the interstate. I'm going to go quickly to him. But you can see he's getting caught up by the derecho. And on top of that, there's a, 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 a tornado to his north. A new tornado warning has been issued. So the wind should pick up here in a second, but he's currently getting at least some of the rain. They've just issued a new tornado warning. That's for Barnes and Cass counties in North Dakota. This storm is moving east-northeast at 68 miles per hour. So it is a very fast-moving storm. I believe they've just gone ahead, though. Yeah, they've tornado warned this. So Ariska, Tower City, and Buffalo. You guys are now included in a brand-new tornado warning. The strongest area of rotation is north of I-94. That is going to be tracking towards 38, Air, Page, and Abars... 
our bar Akka, I think, is all included in this warning. So seek shelter, get away from windows, and get on the lowest floor possible. This is moving to the east-northeast right now uh, and is already producing a tornado. We already have a debris signature just north of Peak, and that's going to be crossing 32 at any moment. It, like, literally just crossed 32. Uh, the tornado would be located now east of 32, crossing 38 in air in the next few minutes. Our PDS tornado warning is now downgraded back to confirmed, which, uh, to be honest... I think I agree with that because it being roping out, but we still have a big debris signature on this thing. There's a lot of debris fallout from this tornado uh, that just happened. This is probably going to be the last time we see a tornado from at least this storm. We have another area, though, that we need to keep an eye on uh, east of Sheldon. There's a brand new hook echo. We have inflow coming into the storm, and this may be gearing up for another tornado. This is still a discrete supercell, and that'll be tracking into Leonard, Kindred, Davenport, and Walcott over the next few minutes, eventually going towards I-29. But I honestly would not be surprised if we were to get a tornado warning for this area here in a few minutes for that storm as it continues to track to the east. But it already produced a big tornado, and it may be trying to gear up for another big tornado here over the next few minutes. Uh, by the way, Freddie McKinney just sent a, a little report uh, out on Twitter. Freddie McKinney, uh, he's currently doing search and rescue. He said, we are okay. I'm not going to share details, but please pray for these people. Uh, the two people that they picked up are okay. There was something that happened in this stream that I don't think we had on stream. It may have been on stream. I don't really know, but there was something that happened earlier uh, in the stream. I, there was some communication I was listening. I don't know what really happened, but there was a tornado, so we didn't really know. But uh, there was something that happened earlier. The people that they picked up on their stream are okay, but it sounds like there is unfortunately just... It just sounds like a, it's basically a disaster right now near Eldrin, so. But can't really speculate much. Again, we all we know right now is that there's at least two tornado fatalities, and hopefully that number does not go up, but what we've been hearing is not good. We had a lot of homes, again, that were heavily damaged or destroyed back over there in North Dakota.